Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am elated to be doing today's video. I'm going to be doing a little mini review and a tutorial on this look using the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson collaboration, the Tiny Marvels palette. So if you want to see how I got this look and just me brag about this palette, then just keep watching. <laughs> I'm so incredibly excited for Mel. She did an amazing job. I mean, just to be honest up front, this palette is seriously very, very good. If you don't know Mel Thompson, I mean, <laughs> she's such a big channel. I wa started watching her a few years ago, like right before I kind of started my channel and I've always really looked up to her. She's such a kind person and I'm so incredibly honored that I kind of got to be a little bit of a part of this launch because I want to say about a month ago, Mel texted me and she asked me for my address and I was like, ooh, what do you have in the works? So I knew I was gonna love it, whatever it was. And then one day I got home from being away for the weekend. This popped up at my house. The other day I did this look and you guys were curious if I filmed a tutorial on that. I didn't, but I did just use three colors. Flutterby in the crease, Bugaboo all over the lid, and then Web as the highlight inner corner kind of color. I mean, it's pretty much impossible to not be biased for this review considering I really do look up to Mel and I am so grateful that I got this little baby in the mail. But no BS, this palette is actually really good. So let me get into the details of this guy really quick. So this is $52 and it did sell out on the first day that it was launched, which again, so incredibly excited for Mel. But it is a available for pre-order right now so still on the website you can purchase it once they're made it will be mailed out to you and I really do recommend you go watch her video on this palette because her story behind it is really awesome she had her tattoo artist design this and the colors everything is inspired from her tattoos which I can't believe I just Wow. I am fairly new to Sydney Grace's formula, but I have quickly learned that they know what they're doing when it comes to eyeshadow formula. So, I mean, right away with Mel's vision, with Mel's expertise, she used to be a working makeup artist. If you've seen her looks, she does incredible work. So with Mel's expertise and with Sydney Grace just knowing what they're doing with eyeshadow formulas, I didn't expect anything less than what this palette gave. So it is a 15 Pam palette and I just love this color story. I'm a neutral girl who loves pops of color and this is kind of what I mean by pops of color. I love more pastel -y kind of colors if we're going into the color spectrum and then you also have shimmers that pair with it lovely and I talked about this during my tutorial but one of my favorite things about this palette is I feel like you can get so many different looks. This is a palette where when I look at it I truly do feel inspired. I can easily envision a lot of different looks that I want to create and this does cater to those who enjoy more neutral tones because you can definitely get an everyday look with this baby but then you also have a lot of other colors if you're a little bit more experimental. You're getting nine mattes and six shimmers. One of the shimmers, Scarab right here, this is a duochrome shade and the rest are quite foiled. I would say that web is probably the most satiny which is perfect because it's that inner corner highlight or that's most likely what a lot of you will be using it for. Just in general, the brand that she collaborated with, that's an automatic check for quality. Mel being as creative and just knowledgeable as she is with her experience and everything else, that's a check for as far as colors story goes. It's a thought out palette. It has the colors that you need. It has colors that are going to match with other colors that are going to support other colors and bring other colors out. You know, this is obviously a palette thought out by somebody that knows what they're doing. And so overall, you just have a great recipe for a fantastic palette. I did only do one look for today's video. I definitely see myself creating more looks as time goes on with this palette. I'm excited to continue playing. I haven't used every single color in here, but I can just tell by swatching. They're going to be great. Sydney Grace has a very consistent formula and even I as applying them I'm still shocked by how good these colors are. Without further ado let's just get into the tutorial for this look. I have been dying absolutely dying to play with the greens in this baby so I did a full green look and you guys it is spectacular. I'm just gonna start off with my Kaleidos tone activator as my base. This is just a really nice lightweight eye primer that also is going to add just a touch of evenness to the eyelid as well. So we're gonna go straight into the center of the palette, the color that your eye instantly goes to. This is Mantis and I am so 
impressed with this shadow, you guys. I'm using a Kaleidos S1 brush, but as you can see, crazy pigmentation. I do have some palettes and some items from Sydney Grace, but I only did recently just get into their shadows because I ordered from their Christmas in July sale. So I'm still new to their formula, but I definitely see what the hype is about. Their shadows are incredible, and I don't think this palette is anything short of that. So just let it be known. I can tell simply by just swatching the feel and the couple of looks I've already created with this palette that the quality in here is quite impeccable and I swear you guys, indie brands, they really do it best. They have such unique formulas and I think what makes Sydney Gray stand out is their matte. Truly, they just kill the matte game. This is a refer number 14 brush and I'm blowing this out pretty low. I'm even going to go lower on the already done eye, but I think it's insane that I just put a very thin eye primer on and look at the amount of vibrancy that you can get from this palette and I absolutely love that Mel put a color like this in because simply it's just really fun. With a Luxie 229, we're gonna go into Spider right here, which is very deep. Looking at the pan, it kind of, it's like a deep, deep, chocolate brown but it has almost some black in it so even on the eye like I'm not getting much chocolatiness from it it's definitely a very cool brown shade that I mean almost translates as a soft black if I'm being honest and I mean you can see Sydney Grace did the work in this color it's incredible it's working itself out these colors are extremely hard to work with especially for beginners just be aware you are getting a lot of pigmentation Sydney Grace has a lot of pigmentation but it is made up for in how easy it is to blend the refer number one brush I do want to add a little bit of definition with spider down here like so and I'm gonna just kind of blend in and shade this eye now if you want something a little bit more daytime friendly or like glowy and just just brighter skip the step with spider but I can't resist a nice smoky eye I'm gonna go in with a touch more of mantis that original green because I really want it to pop underneath all of these colors pretty much all the way up to my brow bone and then of course the color that I knew I needed to go for is scarab now this color is actually already existing in the line so this is the only color that isn't brand new but it's one of those blue green duochrome colors kind of like club from mac if i remember correctly like this color has been done before but it's also super incredible because it's the sydney grace formula so it's extra creamy extra smooth Ugh. so i'm just using my finger and i'm going to apply this on the outer two thirds of my eyelid and blend it up a little bit high this is going to look incredible over that deep black spider shade again you don't need to put that blackish brown shade down but that's only going to make the duochrome in this palette stand out that much more. I'm so happy she opted to put this color in the palette anyways even though it was already from the Sydney Grace line because it's incredible and I don't own this color. I'm really happy about it and I'm taking a brush and I'm kind of just blending in or blending out some of the shimmeriness to blow it out. You guys know I love a blown out kind of look and we're taking fire butts right here. Honestly this one might be my favorite color in this palette. It's just so incredibly shiny. It's kind of of silvery it's kind of green this is just a color that I see myself using a lot because I do like greens but this is a very wearable tone of green and if you were to put this all over the lid with M mantis beautiful springtime look so I'm filling in the inner third with that as you can see extremely pigmented I'm also going to kind of layer that in the inner corner as you build it up you see it gets even more shinier it's incredible and I'm gonna go into web right here which is a very stunning inner corner color it's a white shimmery shade i'm gonna build right on top of that whatever's left on my brush it's going under here and you can see this is kind of blending in with the green and it's just pulling the whole look together and i'm just cleaning this brush on like my wrist <laughs> and i'm taking some of scarab again which is that duochrome shade and i'm just gonna run this right on top of my lower lash line because i just love this effect so much that this shade gives i mean mel 
you freaking killed it. I think is really incredible is you can get like a crazy green look like this, but you can get the complete opposite with so many other colors in here. You can get a purpley pinky look, a mauve look, a simple everyday gold look, a taupe look. I just think the variety in here is so good, but oh my gosh, I love this look. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my look and then I'll be back to discuss with you. Just to uh, stick with the occasion, I did actually use the Christian Audette and Mel Thompson collaboration that she did with Lip. So I'm wearing the Smooches lip liner and the Beauty lipstick. I do have some gloss over as well, but oh my goodness, it's such a pretty lip with this look. I mean, obviously, as you can tell, I am so pleased with this palette. Mel did a fabulous job, and I really think that you guys are going to love this palette as well. There's a little bit of everything for everybody from this palette, and Mel is just an overall great person, and just know that you are supporting somebody who is real and honest and genuine, and I think that that is important to recognize as well. So again, congratulations, Mel. Congratulations, Sydney Grace. I'm loving it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.